Now we're following the same process we followed with interference. We've found the positions of the dark fringes and we know that the maxima are roughly halfway in between the dark fringes. But just as with interference, we want to have an equation that gives us the intensity of light on the screen as a function of theta. And so this is the equation you get here. Deriving it involves phases that is beyond the scope of this course, so we won't be going through that. But you can see this is the equation that you get. The intensity at the angle theta is given by the maximum intensity, which is the very brightest part at the centre, times sine alpha over alpha squared, where alpha equals pi a over lambda times sine theta. Now you can see from the shape of that graph that most of the intensity is concentrated in the central maximum. Now we're going to work through an example. We will find the intensities of the first three secondary maxima in a single slit diffraction pattern as a percentage of the intensity of the central maximum. We're going to start by finding the positions of the first dark fringe, so the m equals 1 fringe on either side, since they bound the central maximum. The rest we'll be working through on the tablet. Now, the equation for intensity of single slit diffraction is that intensity is the peak intensity of the central maximum times sine alpha over alpha squared, where alpha equals pi a, which is the slit width over lambda, sine theta. So that gives us that sine theta, just rearranging that last little bit, is alpha times lambda over pi times a. Now we have dark fringes when sine theta dark equals m lambda over a. So that means alpha lambda over pi a equals m lambda over a. A few things to cancel out here. We end up with alpha equals m lambda, where m is plus or minus 1, 2, etc. So we assume that the peaks are halfway between minima. In other words, where alpha equals m plus a half pi. So let's look at the intensity. We want the intensity over the central one. Now we have i theta, if we divide by i naught, that gives us sine alpha over alpha squared which equals sine of m plus a half pi over m plus a half pi squared. m is 1, 2, 3, etc. The first secondary maximum is going to be where m equals 1. And that lets us find that intensity of that first maximum, I1, over I0, is sine of 1 and a half pi. So m is 1, so m plus a half there, over 1 and a half times pi, squared. Now put your calculator to radians at this point, and you get sine of 4.7124 over 4.7124 squared equals minus 1 over 
two four squared equals minus naught point two one two squared equals naught point naught four five. In other words, four point five percent of the peak intensity of the central fringe. And then very quickly for m equals 2, we have i2 over i0, and that is sine of 2.5 pi over 2.5 pi squared, comes to 1 over 7.854 squared equals 0.0162, which is about 1.6%. And the third, I3 over I0 equals sine of 3.5 pi over 3.5 pi squared equals, well, it comes to 0.83%. So, if we take the central is 100%, we go 4.5. You can see that they are dropping off rapidly in intensity.